Howdy. Aaron Boster here with Ohio Health MS Center. Recently sent out a Twitter poll asking followers uh, which drug they'd like to hear explained uh, next. Uh, everyone voted and the answer was natalizumab, codenamed Tysabri. So I'm going to spend a few minutes explaining to you how Tysabri helps slow MS uh, patients. It's kind of a neat drug. Um, first of all, uh, we have to review uh, the, the way that we think that MS uh, causes damage. So over here I want you to imagine the bloodstream and then there's the barrier, the blood-brain barrier. On the other side of the barrier is the brain. Now the, the naughty autoreactive white cells, the autoreactive immune system, lives in the bloodstream. So those naughty cells are over here and here's the blood-brain barrier. And the naughty cells have to cross into the central compartment where they find the brain and spinal cord and beat it up. So what we want to do with most of the disease modifying therapies is interrupt this process. We want to stop the autoreactive cells from crossing the blood-brain barrier into the brain and spinal cord. And Tysabri does that in a very uh, cool way. Tysabri's effect is at the blood-brain barrier. Now Tysabri, natalizumab, is a monoclonal antibody. And I've talked about this on other videos. A monoclonal antibody is like a key. It has a very specific lock that it fits. Or you could think of uh, the, the antibody, when you put it in you, it's not going to react to any part of anyone except for that specific target. The target of this, auto, of this monoclonal antibody, Tysabri, uh, has to deal with the white blood cell. Now, white blood cells over here, to get over here, they have to go through a process. They're going along the bloodstream, then they roll along the surface of, the, of, of a blood vessel, and then they have to sneak through it. And, and to do that, they use a lock key method. The white blood cell has to bind to a receptor to open up uh, the blood vessel. And, and this process is required that both components work. Tysabri, the monoclonal antibody, binds to the receptor on the white blood cell. So it gums up the works. So now when the white blood cell rolls along the blood vessel and tries to open the door, it can't. It, it's as if I took your car keys from you and I encased them in Lucite and then I gave them back to you and I said, get in your car. You're holding your car key but it's all gummed up and it doesn't fit in the lock anymore. In essence, what Tysabri does is it keeps the naughty autoreactive cells stuck over here in the bloodstream. They can't exit the bloodstream because the lock key method they use is interrupted because Tysabri binds to the blood, the blood cell and prevents it from being able to get over. In doing so, Tysabri creates the Great Wall of China. So this is a, a, a barrier where no white blood cells can get over. And if the white blood cell can't get over, then they're not going to be in the brain and spinal cord and then they're not going to be able to cause inflammatory damage. Once again, thank you for tuning in. This is Aaron Boster with Ohio Health MS Center uh, sharing some information on how we believe natalizumab, Tysabri, works in MS. Have a great day. Bye-bye.